around $5 million in revenue. In a normal year, we'd now have a new national champion in college hoops, along with plenty of upsets in the NCAA tournament. One school which may have played Cinderella, Prairie View A&M. It's coach Byron Smith joining us now on Sports Extra. Are you there? I am. Excellent. Hey, thanks for checking in. You know, everyone's health is certainly paramount, but uh, do you ever stop and wonder what could have been with the group you had this season? Every single day, it stays in my mind. I play it out all the time. Um, the possibilities, and I think we're really kind of starting to emerge and evolve as a team and really start playing really good team basketball. So, uh, we're a bit disappointed, but uh, we knew that it was necessary uh, for the season to come to an end. But uh, every day, to answer your question, I think about what could have been for the Panthers 2019-2020. Uh, Coach Daniel Gotera here. You know, your Panthers were 12-0 and at home. What was the reaction amongst your players when all of this went down? I mean, it must have been just absolutely devastating for them to realize that this season and all the hard work that they'd really put in just kind of ended so quickly and so suddenly. Well, yeah, they were all disappointed. You know, actually, the day of the uh, semifinal game of the conference tournament, we were on our way uh, to shoot around when we got the news. So uh, we were en route to go to start our final preparation uh, for the, the semifinals of the conference tournament. So they were definitely uh, heartbroken and disappointed. And, uh, we're just left with uh, at this immediately, you know, will the NCAA tournament, you know, still uh, be on? Uh, and if not, just uh, just like myself, just kind of, kind of, kind of devastated and uh, you know, definitely uh, disappointed that uh, the season uh, had come to an end. Were you surprised the NCAA did not grant an extra year of eligibility to the winter sports student athletes? Uh, I, I was a little bit selfishly. I, I wanted them to because. Uh, you know, I, I had two pretty good seniors that were player of the year at first team all conference that would have been returning. Uh, and I think any coach, uh, you know, would love to have uh, two best players coming back for another year. Uh, so I thought that was an outside chance that could happen because just the things ended so abruptly. Um, but hey, you know, it, it wasn't to be. Um, and I think we have to look forward to the future and try to get two more, three, four more quality young men to come in and uh, pick up where those two young men left off. Yeah, you mentioned those two young men that are, are not going to be on the team, but do you kind of see this as a rallying point for your guys? I mean, hey, th that opportunity was there. You were so close. I mean, it's it's something that they want to finish the job next year going into the next campaign. Do you see this as kind of that motivating factor a little bit? Right, well, we, we will use it as that. Yeah, we'll, we, we talked about it a little bit, and we will continue to whenever we're able to, uh, you know, get together again and reconvene whenever this pandemic is over. We, we're definitely going to use, use it as a rally at the point uh, that we did have some unfinished business. And, uh, you know, maybe do it for the seniors that we lost, you know. So we'll definitely be motivated and uh, use it as a, as a positive moving forward to the next season. Well, we can't wait to see them on the court whenever that season starts. Byron Smith from Prairie View A&M, thanks for calling in on this holiday weekend. My pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you. Well, you better have a plan if you're coming back to the court or the 